So once again, namaste and a very good morning. A warm welcome to the workshop on the basics of CFD and open form. I am Payal Mukherjee from the FOSI uh, team of IIT Bombay. Our core team members, Mr. Uh, Abhushan Regni, Mr. Rajdeep Adak, Mr. Krishna Khan, and Mr. Binak Lohani will be there with you uh, throughout the sessions. Our team is led by Professor Janani Sri Murali Dharan. She is the uh, uh, PI of this project, the principal investigator of the open form uh, project of uh, FOSI IIT Bombay. And she is a faculty in the mechanical engineering department of IIT Bombay. We also have uh, Bindusara, Rishabh, Maharya, Chaitanya Kishore, Mena, and Tinto to support you during the workshop. All of them uh, uh, worked with us during the summer fellowship program of the Open Form project of FOSI. Mr. Ashutosh, who is a, a technical contributor of Open Form project, will also be there for support. And once again, I thank you all for joining us in this workshop. Uh, and I'm sure that you will uh, get a very good learning experience. You will be able to brush up your knowledge on CFD and uh, you will be able to explore open form. You will know how to use open form. Okay, so my next uh, slide uh, talks about FOSI and NMEIC. So to begin with, uh, let's, let me explain uh, who we are and uh, why are you here with us today? Why are we offering you this workshop? So we are working for a project called FOSI. What is FOSI? This FOSI stands for Free and Open Source Software for Engineering Education. So uh, earlier it was only for the engineering students, but now it is all for all streams of education, including science and arts, even graphic designing. And this project is being developed at IIT Bombay and is a part of the NMEICT, which is the National Mission on Education through Information and Communication Technology. This project is funded by the Ministry of Education, Government of India. Uh, so this mission, this NMEICT, is promoting learning and usage of FLOSS. Now, what is FLOSS? The word FLOSS stands for Free Liber Open Source Software. So the word Liber means freedom. And the word free does not only means free of cost. There are four kinds of freedom associated with the word free in this context. Number one, you can use it. Number two, you can distribute it to other people. Number three, you can modify it. And number four, you can distribute the modified software. So for all uh, these four activities, you will need permissions. And the software those that are categorized under this uh, flaws grants you the permission. Hence the word freedom. We can use them uh, legally. Uh, free of cost, and they come with the license of GPL and BSD and so on. So uh, let me uh, give you an instance. Suppose uh, the AICT uh, sends you a note saying that you will have to use licensed software in your institute or in your company. It doesn't mean that you will have to buy the software, and it doesn't mean that you have to buy the licenses of uh, the, com the expensive commercial software. You can always use FLOSS in this case because they are also licensed software, but you can legally use it free of cost. So we encourage the usage and learning of FLOSS. We encourage the use of FLOSS, not only because it is free of uh, cost and it is free to download, it is free to use, but because it is a kind of knowledge that once you acquire, you'll be able to use it throughout your student life, throughout your career ahead, be it you know, in the academics or be it in the corporate sector. Uh, as, it, as I could see that many of you are uh, students here, some of you are faculty members, and um, a few amongst you also belong to the corporate sector. So suppose you are um, you have been assigned a project on CFD, and you know open form. Okay, so this knowledge of your open form, which is a floss, hmm, uh, will enable you to not be dependent on your institute or on your company to deliver the project. You can deliver the project um, free of cost to your institute or your company. Uh, I mean, this enables the institute or the company to save money. And I need not explain how much important is this. Okay, now let me uh, talk about the training part. Uh, the FOSI project is into training a force to students, faculty members, and corporates. Uh, by training, I mean training on uh, skill-based education. We envision to bridge the gap between the theory-centric academic training 
and the uh, skill-based industry requirements. So this training will add an edge to your education, to your career, and will help you to get jobs and finally excel in your career. Okay, my uh, next slide uh, talks about uh, spoken tutorials, self-learning through spoken tutorials. So I will not explain much about spoken tutorials because uh, today in the hands-on session, we'll be experiencing what are spoken tutorials actually. So they are simply, they are audiovisual uh, screencasting tool. They are like your private tutor. So it's a it's a one-to-one -one interactive learning. You can play, pause, uh, rewind, and learn at your own pace. Okay, uh, but a very important uh, point about uh, using spoken tutorials is you will have to uh, follow the side by side method, uh, which is you have to unmaximize the window that is containing the spoken tutorials, and you'll have to open your terminal or the window adjacent to the original spoken tutorial videos. So you unmaximize both the windows, the original spoken tutorials and the terminal that you are going to use. So uh, you once you play the spoken tutorials, you can you can observe the commands, you can pause them, you can actually type the commands in your terminal. And uh, eventually you will learn the whole software starting from the basic levels, starting from the installation, uh, from the basics, eventually to the inter intermediate levels, and finally to the advanced levels. They are very short, crisp, uh, 10 minutes tutorials, but you can always like, if I use a spoken tutorial, I may spend half an hour to learn, to learn one chapter, and you may take one hour, some other people uh, may take to, uh, 45 minutes. So it's depending on our learning capacity, our pace of learning. And yes, a very important thing is import, uh, internet is not required while using the spoken tutorials. You can always download it and keep it in your PC and uh, you can use it after your classes, at your free time, anytime. Okay, and uh, yeah, it comes with uh, supporting documents like instruction sheets and manuals. And a very unique uh, uh, thing about the spoken tutorials are, they are available in all the 22 Indian languages and a few foreign languages as well. Okay, now uh, let me come to the workshop briefings. Uh, I hope uh, by now you have gone through the workshop schedule. So in day one, we will have lectures by Professor Janani uh, of IIT Bombay, Professor Hari Krishnan of the Coaching uh, University of Science and Technology, and, Ms. and Professor Dheeraj of Shiv Nadar University. In day two, we will have sessions by Professor Manaswita of IIT Bombay and Professor Raghavendra of IIT Guwahati. In day three, we will have sessions by Professor Naren of Sastra University. Apart from these uh, lectures, we will have hands-on uh, sessions and we will have uh, some invited sessions, invited talks. Uh, for example, in day one, you will have a talk by Dr. Chandan Bose, who is a research scholar from the University of Edinburgh. And uh, in day three, you will have a talk by uh, Mr. Divyesh Varya, who is the CFD expert uh, and working in Adani Solar. So uh, during the workshop, you will uh, get to know how to use OpenFoam through the hands-on training sessions. You'll be introduced to a GUI on OpenFoam block mesh as well by our team members. Uh, so during the workshop, I would suggest you to keep your microphones on mute and uh, cameras off during the workshop, during the entire session. So if you, uh, so you know, uh, this will avoid any bandwidth issues. Uh, you may definitely ask questions. We will have interactive sessions at the end of uh, each session. You can interact with our team. You can interact with the professors. Uh, we will have interactive session uh, during the end of each day as well. So we are always there. You can also use the chat box, but please uh, use the chat box only if it is needed.